you all come at this from uh, slightly different different directions, whether it's uh, you know uh, science fiction or or science as a education or uh, sort of biographical uh, historical. But you're all you're all trying to communicate these ideas and explore uh, science and and convey something to someone. So, can you talk a little bit about why this medium? Why graphic novels and comic books? Oh, me? Yeah, Jim. Yeah. Scientists use pictures to communicate. Uh, on the on the research trip, uh, we were talking with a bunch of with a bunch of physicists, and we're talking about the use of image and the use of graphics. And they all asserted that I I I, I can't do it without chalk in my hand and in front of a chalkboard. And they were actually kind of hardcore and said, you know, whiteboards, no good. Uh, it's got to be chalk and a, and a green board. But this is the way scientists work. This is how they communicate with each other. And so comics as a means for communicating science is in fact quite natural. And I have yet to meet a scientist who doesn't think that that's true. So the other thing is it works. Yeah, just, um, just to add to that point, like that's so true. Like every day when, um because I work in a scientific environment, and you'll have discussions with people about some new idea or something, and you'll be describing it with words, and you'll get to a stage in the conversation where you're just like, I can't get any, I can't communicate this. I have to draw a picture before you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, it's, it's totally true. If you, if you want to communicate science, um, you have to use like, well, in the, technically what you use is lots of graphs. Um, and it's basically graphs and maths. That's pretty right. much what science is. But um, it, it's a visual abstraction, but it's the least abstract from our everyday experience of the right. world. Well, that's what I would say. They're yeah. everywhere. I mean, cartoons and graphic depictions of concepts are, are everywhere you look constantly. I mean, every every sign you look at is, is an es every logo is in essence a, a, a little cartoon in a way, right. communicating a concept or an idea. So it's a language that we as you know human beings at this stage in our development see constantly. So you know. We're used to it.